I'm Jimmy Bojangles, and now here's something we know you'll like. Hocus Pocus. You play as Hocus Pocus, the aptly named little magician. You have to go across the lands of Lattice to save your girlfriend. Hooray for great story. You start off in the lands of in the actual kingdom of Lattice. You don't stay here very long, two levels here, and then you're off to some other crazy, zany, wacky locale. The enemies around here are mushrooms and little tiny dinosaur dragon thingies. Uh, one thing you'll notice is that there's a lot more color than in my last LP, Commander Keen. This uses the VGA uh, palette, much bigger. I think there's 256 colors, rather than the 16 that the EGA palette used, and ow. I think my sound might be up a little bit too high, so I'm just going to turn that down now. That's better. Oh. The music in this game is very nice. The colors are very nice. I actually think I have the sound effects turned down quite a bit, but you don't really need to hear them. That is lava. That will kill me. See, in this game, rather than having enemies in set locations, they just pop out at you. And they're like, yo dude, we're gonna be here. Rather than, you know, somewhere where you can see us. It's great fun. And these things are little wingy devil things that shoot lightning bolts, much like your own. In this game, you only get one weapon, and that is your lightning bolt. Unless you grab one potion, which will give you three shots that kills everything in the game in one hit. In order to beat a level, I have to collect all five crystals in this level. Crystal amounts vary from level to level. There are key collect there's key collecting, potion collecting, teleporting. Um if you can collect all the treasure in a level or beat the level under par time, you get a certain amount of points. There are always hidden treasure rooms like that one or much more much better example is this one. This guy here, he tells me, So we have found the secret treasure room. Perhaps I misjudged ya. Yes, you're still doomed to failure. What a cheery fella. I think he doesn't like me. Oh, I got all the treasure. And did I beat it under par? I think I did. And yes, I did. By six seconds. That's great. Alright, let's do level two. So I can end this recording. Not that I don't love recording. I'm not, I'm just gonna leave that alone. I'm not gonna touch that. The next level set is very nice. It's the chapel, as I call it. Probably has a real name somewhere off the in a manual or something, but I don't have it. It is the Silver Moon Chapel, I believe is the name I gave it ages ago. Drop down here. Oh, here's where I have to deal with these monsters. Mushrooms do nothing but headbutt you, so they're not that big a deal. Rather than shooting lightning or fire at you, they headbutt you. The developers seem to think that that's a good idea. I, on the other hand, don't. On the difference between uh, easy, moderate, and hard on this is not um, enemy placement like Commander Keen. There's actually enemies have a, can take a lot more damage and deal a lot more damage. On hard, I think you take 20 damage per hit from enemy. I think. It might be a little bit less. I think it might be 16. Whereas I take 12 from a hit on moderate. On easy, I think you take 8. Here is the secret treasure room here. It is filled with monsters and goblets. Um, I honestly don't know what just happened there. I think I might have accidentally cheated. Um... Well, I'm not supposed to be able to get this yet, but this is a demonstration of the super speed firing cheat. Yeah, uh, not cheat. Potion. 
Uh, I did not mean to get that. In fact, I don't know how I got that. It doesn't seem to be wearing off yet. There we go. Uh, I really didn't mean to get that. So, don't accuse me of cheating to win the game. I have no idea how that happened. See, the thing about this game differently than Commander Keen, if I run out of time, um, I can't save in the middle of a level. It brings me back to the beginning, so I have to beat levels within time limits. It shouldn't be too hard, because I can beat this game under par most times. Unless I start goofing around and stu doing stupid things, making mistakes. But, I shouldn't. This game, quite frankly, is quite a bit easier than Commander Kane. It's a lot longer, too. There's four parts. I'm just going to start out with doing the first one, time tripping. I should be able to get it in quite quickly. Well, I'm definitely enjoying LPing. It's really fun, and I hope people enjoy it, because I know I am. Hey, I'm almost on this level. What do you know? And I think I'm going to get all the treasure as well. Ooh, shiny. I'm just going to let myself get hit there. All treasure. Wicked. Okay, now I can take this slow, or I could do the awesome thing and just run through everything and finish the level. Alright. I'm going to cut recording here, because... Wow, I beat that under power by a lot. Okay, I'm just going to cut recording here, because I think I'm running out of time. Uh, thanks for watching. Let's play Hocus Pocus. I'm your host, Jimmy Bojangles, signing off. Goodbye.